What's up and welcome back to the G-Ret Show. I'm G-Ret. As a lifelong Barcelona fan, <laughs> it kills me to say it, but Jude Bellingham is the best player in the world right now. What he's dealing with in his injury and the fact that he's still playing and he's still this good is absolutely incredible. If this injury goes where it could this could be very very detrimental to him the rest of his season and more importantly real madrid and their success in la liga and the champions league this could be very bad So Jude Bellingham, I think we can all agree, he's the best player in the world right now for everything that he's bringing to this club, the way he's helping Real Madrid win games, single-handedly win games, and he's doing it with a dislocated shoulder. He picked up this injury, I believe it was a month ago, and to be honest, you really wouldn't be able to tell that he has a shoulder injury with the way he's been playing. His header goal against Napoli, that insane goal he set up and he passed to Hoselu. I mean, that was a Modric type of pass. That was a that was a Xavi type of pass. That was incredible. And he's doing it with a dislocated shoulder. Now, rumors have come out and there's a chance he could get surgery. They don't know if it's moving in the right direction as injury, and if it's not moving the way they want it to, he could get surgery, and this could be very, very bad for Real Madrid. And let's be honest, if Bellingham did not come to Real Madrid and they didn't have any other replacement for him, I just think Real Madrid this season would be, they'd be a good team. I wouldn't see him as a huge threat in the Champions League. I just don't think they would be as successful because Bellingham alone in La Liga has 11 goals. And if he misses time for a shoulder surgery, I mean, regardless of what type of surgery he's gonna miss time and we're already at the end of the year so the best thing they could do is if he has to get surgery is to get it now they're already out of the group stage for the champions league so you might as well do it now if you have to rest him up and then hopefully by end of january or early february he can be totally fine because luckily it's not your leg it's not your knee it's not a huge surgery it's his shoulder important but i don't think it would keep him out that long it's crazy how well he's doing and when you think of jude belling when you watch him play even when you just look at him in general he doesn't look 20 I would guess he's at least 23 to 24. And he's the leading goal scorer in La Liga. He's scoring in the Champions League. He looks like a world-class player on the pitch as a 20-year-old. And whether he realizes he has the potential to be an all-time great and that he's arguably the best in the world right now, he's so smart because he chose to go to Real Madrid. He could have went to England like most English players do. Played at Chelsea, played at Liverpool, played at Manchester United, maybe even City. Unless it was City, he wouldn't be as successful most likely. I do think Liverpool and Jude Bellingham would be ridiculous and that's arguably the missing piece that they need besides maybe another CDM but he did what Mbappe didn't do he took the leap and went to the best club of all time the most prestigious club of all time and the club that wins the most Champions League trophies and that's Real Madrid and Mbappe hasn't figured it out yet and unfortunately it doesn't look like he's going to and it looks like he's not headed to Real Madrid if Jude Bellingham misses time you can quote me I'm comfortable with this I would feel confident to say that Real Madrid would not look they would look worse than they do and I think you would significantly be able to tell how much they miss him in that center attacking midfielding role because as fantastic as Modric and Kroos used to be I, I just don't see the same in them. They don't have Benzema anymore. And to be honest, Bellingham has been able to take that, been able to fill that gap and score all of these goals. And Hoselu hasn't been able to do it. Vinicius is missing time. I'm not sure exactly when he's going to return. So we will definitely see a rapid decline in Real Madrid if he's injured. And if they have to play in the round of 16 without Jude Bellingham, let me know what you guys think down below. But I don't care who they play. They, they will struggle. They will struggle big time without Jude Bellingham. And, and you can see how important he is on the pitch. So let me know your thoughts down below is Jude Bellingham the best player in the world right now in my eyes he's the favorite to win the Ballon d'Or will he win the Ballon d'Or I think he made the smartest decision of his entire life choosing to go to Real Madrid and he's only 20 he could stay there for another 14 15 years and win five six seven Champions Leagues three or four Ballon d'Ors maybe even a Euro or a World Cup with England so let me know your thoughts down below and we'll see you guys back here next time on the G-Red Show